one of the, another thing that I really love about IFS, you know, I think about it not only as a psychotherapy modality, I think about it as a paradigm for living. And IFS could be used not only in trauma, in many, many other arenas. For example, anybody who has any family members or anybody themselves who's struggling with um, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, any of those more kind of extreme major mental illnesses, um, IFS is really good in that way, looking at the protective function of all of those symptoms um, and really letting people through self-awareness get to know those aspects of themselves. We use IFS in autism, for example. My son is on the spectrum and I'm always working with him around the different parts of him that are rigid, are hard to make changes for, only like certain things. It's a really non-shaming, non-pathologizing way to deal with many things in life. Um, so IFS is way beyond um, just a, a, a psychotherapy modality for treating trauma, we use it in many different arenas. We're actually using it in coaching and in business training now too. So um, it's really a way to be with yourself and relationally with others in a, a whole different way of being.